So, I have a question. Will you go out with me? Uh, wait, who, who, Toga? How? When? How? Ah. <sighs> Come on, he's a good. Okay, let me rephrase. Will you be my boyfriend? What? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I'm going to need an explanation. How'd you get in my room? How'd you get past everyone? How'd you. Wait. What is your quirk? Uh. <laughs> That's your... Okay, whatever. Hold on. I'll show you. As Toga instantly turns into Kami. As everything starts to... Oh my god. The last year... You can transform into other people? Correct. What are you, why are you here? Weren't you listening? I want you to date me. Please. I, why? Okay. Let me just cut a chase. I like you. And I want you. So, how will this become a thing? Oh, as we have a flashback in which Toga successfully infiltrated the professional licensing exam as Kami. The only thing is, he's Shigaraki pretty much tells her to shut the fuck up, all because she, she keeps talking about how cool Izuku is. And how much she just can't wait to be together with him forever. And yeah, Shiraki pretty much lays it out on the table like, there's no way in hell he would date you. I don't think you're his type whatsoever. Let alone, you're a villain. And uh, you're freaky as hell. You're weird. Crazy. Psychopath. Yandere. Uh, uh, well, maybe he's different. <laughs> oh, wait. You're, you're serious. Yes. You're really serious. Uh huh. You really a freaky? Would date you? Yes. <laughs> There's no hell. <laughs> no, no, it's crazy building a psychopath like you. How many people have you killed again? <laughs> no, screw this. I'm out of this group. What? Yeah. I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to be a villain anymore. Fuck this noise. I am out. I'm going to confess to Izuku and prove you wrong. Okay. But when you come crawling back, don't expect a warm reception. And flash forward into what we are now doing. Izuku, so you quit the League of Villains? Yes, I did. Oh, so you can ask me to be your boyfriend? Yes, I did. But, but, but I, 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 I don't, but you're a villain. Not anymore, if you don't want me to. How could you just so easily? Ah. When you love someone, you must be willing to make sacrifices. And I love you. And uh, plus a Rocka and Froppy and Oh Okay good good to know, but uh are you sh really sure about this? I thought you were Trust me. 
love is worth it. One thing is, uh, I didn't get your answer. Are you sure it was a good idea just to let her confess to this kid? Or well, if she ends up killing him? Huh! That's what his hero to worry about. Okay, well, if he ends up accepting her love. <laughs> Seriously, there's no way. It's not like he's someone who wants to save everyone. Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. Ugh. Besides, what's, what's she going to do to really convince him that she can change? I mean, give him her whole backstory or how... Oh, God, what have I done? What have you done? You pretty... Uh, I pretty much just gift wrapped one of our most tragic cases of a unfair society. Huh. Well. Fuck. <laughs> As yes, he's a good, he is bawling his eyes out, hearing that no way to tell you had to suppress her instincts on give just you know drinking blood though as weird as it is can't really blame her from a quirk standpoint especially considering uh, she's actually not a bad person she just had a not the best upbringing I mean her parents threw her under the damn bus all that shit so yeah Zuka's yeah, he's emotional. Much to the token surprise, like, I did not mean to make you cry. As he just runs up and hugs her, saying how sorry he was that that had to happen. But she's like, okay. That doesn't answer my... Of course I will. Really? Yes. I mean, though you can't kill anyone... I told you, I won't be a villain anymore. I'll be vigilante. What? Yeah. But that's still illegal. Yes, but vigilantes don't have as many, uh, you know, hoops to jump through when it comes to heroes. Uh, okay, I guess you're right, but still. In fact, I'm going to turn myself in. What? No, don't do that. But... Why not? I don't want them to take you away. Uh, what? Izuku blushing. Toga blushing. He's like, you're serious? But I, we just, I know, but I don't want anything to happen to you. You've been through enough in your life. Her still being like, I can't believe this is actually happening. It actually worked. It's truly say true love does exist. <laughs> I knew I should, I never should doubt those storybooks. <laughs> and then not go door, and then in comes Oraka to see that yes, Izuku is still hugging Toga, and she's. In utter, complete shock. About to scream, Tola jumps her, closes the door, and locks it. He was like, listen, oh, Chaco, I know what it looks like. And she's wondering, what the hell, why are you here? And then she sees that Izuku is blushing What'd you do to him? As, yeah, Toga gets off of her, then runs over to Izuku, grasping his arm. We're dating! What? Yeah. Since when did this happen? Why is 
this happen? Toga pretty much relaying the whole story. Even transforming into Kami again. It was, yeah, Oraka, she's like. No! You didn't say yes, did you? He's like, blushing even harder. It's like, no! No! No, 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 no! No! What? What's wrong? That is so unfair! What? Oh, so she likes you too! That makes it so much more easy! Huh? What are you talking about? We can share! Hey, because you bring Froppy into this. What? No! You're a villain! Not anymore? I quit the League of Villains. Huh? Yeah, I'm not going to be a villain anymore. And I promised easy that I wouldn't kill anyone anymore. Okay, but you're going to at least turn yourself in, right? He didn't want me to. As, yeah... This is when Kirishima shows up and see that the door is locked. He, everyone knew that, yeah, Oraka was going to check out Izuku, so he thought, oh, really? <laughs> that boy, Izuku, about damn time. That's, I don't know, being alone with a girl in your room, manly as fuck. As he walks away, Bago. <laughs> Shows up to see Kirishima having a smug grin, like, what the hell is with that face? It's like, Izuku's becoming a man! What? Yeah, heck, Rocker came to check on him and the, <laughs> the door is locked, so. <laughs> oh, hell no! Fuck that shit! As he blows up Izuku's door just to see Toga. Hugging Izuku, Oraka on the floor, still looking shocked, as. Oh, you gotta be. As, yeah, he's about to destroy poor, poor Toga. Izuku, on the other hand, stops this dead in his tracks. Pretty much restraining Bakugo, as, like, what the hell are you doing, Daku? I. Pretending my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? As last of the students show up, the staff shows up, trying to keep Bakugo from killing anyone, as they see Toga as well. And they are like, what the hell is going on here? Is it? Well... I didn't expect this to happen, so I guess I'll just cut to the chase. I want to update Izuku. He said yes. What? Deku? Hmm? Explain yourself. Yes, problem child, please. Explain why you're dating a villain all of a sudden. Oraka being restrained by Mina, as well as Hagakure, Froppy, Momo, and Sero. <laughs> yeah, you know, the whole crew, pretty much. Trying to keep from killing either Bakugo, you know, trying to hurt Izuku, definitely. Oh no, yeah, he, Bakugo's restrained too! With the scarf. The rest of the scarf is wrapped around Bakugo. Yes, yes, Izuku is explaining. Himiko is explaining. Yeah, she ain't no longer part of the event. She doesn't want to be alone anymore. All because she loves Izuku. Plus two others. But still. One fact remains. What are we going to do with you? You're going to have to turn yourself in for your sins. And repent. Oh. Sorry, Izuku. Why are you apologizing to him for? 
You didn't want me to turn myself in. What? <laughs> so you're just going to hire her out here? Do you alone? Araka, she finally gets free of making everyone else float and tackles Izuku into a kiss. Himako, she looks all the more happy. And then she kisses Oraka too. It's like, I can't believe my, I, I kissed a girl. Oh, fuck her. You're a damn loser. She kissed you. It doesn't count. As Oraka, she's holding her lips. Like, I can't believe I did that. Wait, I can't believe you, you just did that. It's like, I love both of you. Plus someone else. Just eyeing Froppy like a piece of meat. And she's ready to pounce. Froppy being scared. He will go... I I don't know how this is going to work. I mean, we both like Izuku, don't we? Well, yeah, but... Hmm. Okay, how about this? We can share him, but only on certain days. What? Yeah. Sometimes I get him for the week or so, and then you get your turn. How that sound? Fair? What? Yeah, I think that'd be fair. Oh, is it okay? Like, can I meet your parents? This is escalating a lot faster than I anticipated. But I guess my mom. Would be surprised that I actually got a girlfriend, two girlfriends, from Dolphy or Raka. It might be three soon, depending on what Asumi says. Call me Sue. Uh, so, I can, so I can call you that now? So we are friends? Wait, no, that's not what I meant. I'm just, I'm just used to uh, Midoriya calling me. Ugh. Whatever. Well, you you can go ahead and do all that. Really? Yes. But after that, we are going to arrest her. Okay. And no trying to run. I would never. I'm not a villain anymore. As yes, upon realizing that Izuku now has a girlfriend, in which Oraka did end up going along with them, as well as Sue, Iko, she's concerned. I, I always wanted you to find a special someone, not a special someone's. This is a little much, don't you think? Trust me, Mom, this was not planned at all. Not in the slightest. <sighs> I believe you, but still. Three girlfriends? Two. Uh, excuse me? Sue was just like, I'm not his girlfriend. Not yet, Sue. Not yet. Give it time. You'll fall in love with him too, just like we did. Whatever you say. I'm just here to make sure you don't run away or hurt anyone. It's not what your racer head is following us for. What? Oh yes, I'm not stupid. Of course he's tailing us. Hmm. I'm impressed. And as I does just show up out of nowhere, seemingly. How do you know I was? I've made it my personal mission not to get caught. I knew you wouldn't full-heartedly trust me that I would go with Izuku and get introduced to his 
mom, wait, where is your dad? Working overseas. Real hard. Okay. Either way. <clears throat> yeah. I figured you wouldn't trust me enough to really leave me alone here with Izuku and his mother. Especially considering that you've met his mother, at least All Might did. What? Oh yeah, I've been keeping a close eye on Izuku ever since we first met. Excuse me? As Inko here is just getting even more worried at how much does she see, how much does she know about her son. And she sees Izuku blushing over this instead of being like, Okay, maybe I made a wrong decision. And now we're back at the League of Villains hideout in which Shigaraki is pretty much like, Oh my god, I can't believe I did something so foolish. Well, you might you might be right, Sh Shigaraki. You might you could be you she might not wanna, you know, join up with the heroes, you know? That may be true. She might not want to be one of them anymore. No, or at least one of us. But here's the thing. She knows where we are. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. So, if she feels a little bit too cooperative, she can just give her location to whoever. Especially if that young... Brat Izuku Madoya, we're a sweet talker. Hmm. Good. Good point. Good. Good point. Very valid point. Why did you let her leave? I thought I, I, I called her bluff. You thought she was bluffing. Toga does a bluff. If anything, I think it's great. What? Oh, come on. Seriously. Do you think it's easy for villains to find those they love? Big sis, what are you talking about? I mean, me and my significant other didn't plan on meeting the way we did, but... Everything turned out for the best. Yeah, but that's you! You were going so easily manipulated. No, she's not. She knows what she's doing. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince young Midoriya to get... to switch up teams, be on our side. That's a good point. Wait, why would, she, why would he want to be a, a villain instead of a hero? And he idolizes All Might. True. But, he knows All Might the hero. There's always a darker meaning or version that no one else wants to be known about themselves. You really believe... All Might has a dark side. Never know. Do some digging. Whoever you can't find, make it up. Seriously. It's about time we stop thinking like villains and start thinking like politicians. What? <coughs> Nothing. <coughs> Nothing. Uh, I see your point. So, she could transfer this Doria bread of our side. Yes, yes, I see that, but hmm, that could be easier said than done, especially considering all he's been through so far. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can't deny that. 
Well, fingers crossed. That's all I can say, I guess. And you should try to get a hold of Toga and apologize for your rude words. What? Yes, you should apologize to her. What you said was uncalled for and mean. She's a psychopathic murderer who's as God knows how many bodies under her belt. So, she's still a young lady who needs to be loved. And from what I can tell from what we got about this Midoriya, he's more than willing to give her that. Yeah, whatever. As now we cut to the police station in which Toga is being detained by Izuku being how he is. Visits her every single day with Oraga and Froppy in tow. Her pretty much like, I'm really happy to see you, but um, what's with the other wheels? Well, they want to see you too. Mm, you sure about that? Because it seems more like they just want to make sure I don't do anything to ruin you. Ru 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 ruin me? Oh, yeah. See, I'm behind when it comes to our relationship. Uh, what? What do you mean? Don't tell me you already forgot. It's only been at least a week and a half. Since Oraka kissed you. <laughs> Izuku touching his lips and blushing all hard. Looked like a red as hell tomato while Oraka is looking at him. Both embarrassed but also proud. Pretty much being like, yes. I know the idea was embarrassing to him and me at times, but it was worth it. What was I thinking? Waiting. Yeah, if I did, if I did that, Toga would won. The soonest framers is like, why am I, why am I put myself through this? I did, I didn't have to. I could just stay in the dorms, and relaxed. Probably read a book or something, but no, I had to be a part of this craziness. As yes, Izuku, Toga, Oraka, and Brabi are talking until vegetation hours are over. Izuku wishing he could take, he would go out on a date. The only thing is, yeah, she wants to make her own crimes. At least she's not in Tartaros. Like a certain someone. Now, let us get back to the villains in which it's the overhaul meeting. Yeah. And sadly, just like before, Big Sis is no more. The only thing is, Toga doesn't know this. Not until at least two days when she's allowed to go outside. With chaperones being one Eraserhead and Izuku Midoriya, as per her own condition that she placed. Here, she actually does end up talking with uh, an old friend by the name of Twice. Luckily, his little doubles are so real life looking. When she learns that Big Sis was killed by overall, yeah, Razorhead, Izuku, they feel the bloodlust just pouring out of her, realizing, okay, something really pissed her off. Izuku seeing this, he goes to cover her, 
as she falls into his arms crying and yelling out, they killed her. Ooh, big sis, they killed her. You have a sister? No, big sis Mag. You know, I, I do. As soon as he took me his description, wait, that was a woman? Yes. You're pulling my chain. No, no, that was a woman. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. I. Huh. I had no idea that was a woman. You're telling me. Hmm. Yeah. That was a woman. Anyway, who killed her? Some asshole Yakuza named Overhaul. Over. Yakuza. I know him. At least I heard of him. He's a good hearing about Overhaul, especially his quirk. Knowing how dangerous as hell it is. is there... Okay. That's good to know. So what do you want to do? I want vengeance. You mean justice? No. Justice is not what I seek. I seek vengeance. You have to help me. What am I? Say, I've been rehabilitated. I'm all happy, hunky-dory hero material now. They listen to you. I don't see what kind of, of a, you know, influence I have. Not you. Sorry, but not you. I'm talking to him. Pointing at Aizawa. You really expect them to believe that you have been rehabilitated so easily, so quickly. Just say that love makes us do the impossible. <sighs> That's the story you want to go with. Oh, most definitely. Okay, okay, fine. I'll see what I can do, but the, I make uh, no promises. Trust me. I just need to get close enough to him. I'm going to need you guys to be on my side here. And this is when Yuzuku does do the work study thing with Star Night Eye. Mirio does give him some pointers like make this guy laugh. If you can do that, you are solid. But I'm not that funny. Just try your best. And oh yeah. Don't offend him. What? I mean it don't 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 offend him in any way, shape, or form. But I Trust me, it will not end well if you offend him in any way conceivable. Okay. Good to know. So, as you does this whole I am here thing on my impersonation and offends Night Eye. Well, this is gonna suck. The only thing is. Seeing how rage fueled Togo was didn't just make him want to help her get her revenge. He really wanted to catch this guy. He really wanted to catch Overhaul, get him. So he. Accidentally unlocks Black Whip right then and there with his intense emotion to help Himiko. In which, yes, he got a stab from Sir Nai Nai, freaking him out. And when All Might learns about this, he's like, oh my god, you got another quirk. 
Bakugo hearing about this, like, damn it. Are you serious? That is so unfair. Ugh. I wish you had the already had that little talk thing that came to that. That's the whole. You are not allowed to lose ever again to anyone. Oh. But as soon as they are in the me with all my, the, yep, you're gonna get more quirks. This is just the beginning, boy. Seeing that float could be the next one, Bunko does make a sly remark like, ha! Uh, I've always, heck, I've been flying with my quirk forever. You are just gonna be copying me, bastard. But he's a good thing. I'll be able to catch up with you hella fast. What makes you so sure? It's me. It's me. You know me. I know me. Anyone who knows me knows me. I am a quirk nerd. I study quirks. I study people. I know their fine shots. I knew yours at the beginning when we even started that damn fight at the Heroes vs. Villains. I knew how to counter your attacks. You know this. <sighs> you had to switch up your whole shit just because you knew that I knew how you fight, how you would fight, thanks to your quirk and your personality. You go in head on because somebody's not even thinking. So I guess you know that I knew about. Okay. Damn. Is this what it's like having a girlfriend? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm like this right now. It's weird, but uh, I don't mind it. Feels kind of nice. Yeah, because I don't think you just unloaded a bunch of um, stress or something. Yeah, do you have any idea how long I've waited to have a chance to become a hero with you and your little? What? Little what? Fucking friends! <gasps> Wait, did you? What? Did you just curse? Did I just... Oh man, I did. What? Oh. oh, so now you can get some base here. Okay, so finally you go up here because you... I got you a piece, huh? Is that it? Uh, wait, what? You heard me? No, 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 no. That's not. It. That's not it at all. <sighs> it's just I'm just uh, processing, and uh, I don't know what's going on with me, but I kind of like it. I bet you do. Heck, hell, we all. You raising your voice at me? Me? Of all people? Yeah, I say you feel yourself, ain't you? Uh, maybe a little. Well, better be careful what you say to me. God can still kill you. You could try, bitch. There you go again! This can't just be because of that blood freak. What? You heard me. You, that this blood freak cannot be the complete cause of your complete and total certain personality changes. Izuku punches Bongo through a wall. What was that for? Don't ever call her a blood freak again. Well, thank you for Having this all night. Izuku leaving while he drags Bakugo to the girl's office. So, wow. That just happened. Huh. Wow. Love makes you do crazy things. I think this Himoko girl. Must be a great influence. Now, 
we get to the whole them being airy. The only thing is, eraser heads there in the shadows, at least rooftops, watching over Himiko, Izuku, and Mirio while they're on patrol. Because, yeah, Himiko walks up behind this guy quick, fast, in a hurry. It's when, yeah, Aerie shows up. That she sees these people here. She clings to Izuku because, of course. Uh, and here we go, seeing this adorable child is like, can we keep her? Like, no. Then, Overhaul shows up. Here we go, ready to kill this motherfucker. Mario tries to no, 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 we can't, we can't do anything. Because Miro doesn't know overall. Oh. You know. He's being watched like a hawk. By one named eraser head. Right above him. So. Yeah. Izuku and Himuko know. Miro does not. So yeah. When Eri's about to leave. When overall starts taking off that glove. Izuku. One shots overhaul then and there. Mario is looking at him like, "What the fuck, man, dude?" As here it goes, she's like, "Oh, you are going to get lucky tonight, huh?" Oh, nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it. As yeah, Harry is shocked at this overhaul glove. Is off. He's touching the ground. He's still conscious, barely. The only thing is, when he's constantly punching, hitting, and touching the ground, nothing is happening. So he sees, at the corner of his eye, someone on the rooftop. As a racer head just swoops in and drop kicks him, unconscious. There he goes, like, what? Wait, why are you? Don't ask. Yeah, wait. <clears throat> this is him? Yes. Good. Mario, forget what you saw. Just say we found a child whose parents are no longer with us. As yes, Orhol is taken into custody. And Mario is like, why? Who? I, I am beyond confused. What I just, who? Why? I feel like I should tell somebody. Seeing here it goes, anger filled eyes like you better not say a word to anybody. As yes. But Overhaul wakes up. He sees that he's been restrained. Everything. He can't use his quirk or anything else. It's nothing if not... How? How'd you know? That he asks about Aerie. Like, what'd you do with my daughter? Aerie still clinging to Yuzuku. He's the one that did this to me. As Izuku does get a better look at the bandages. And then he starts emitting bloodlust. Here we go, she thinks it's hot. Everyone else, they're concerned, <laughs> to say the least about it. <sighs> so, these start interrogating overhaul. No quirk. They just beat the ever-loving crap out of him. Even have someone who can detect lies, just in case. But one thing they notice a repeat pattern of is him talking about Airy. They have no idea why. But one thing's for sure, 
this kid is important to him for some reason. They just don't know why. So, they ask Eri. Well, Izuku and the rest of them are there, but still, they ask why does he care about you so much? And this is when they learn about her quirk. Rewind. The fact that, yeah, this quirk is overpowered and dangerous is all hell. If she starts crying, thinking everyone's going to start looking at her sideways, she's about to run away and push her Izuku, but then she notices Izuku's holding her tighter. And then she, she notices Himiko walk up and hug her as well. And yeah, this causes her to cry even more, saying, please don't hurt me, while well, they're like, we would never do such a thing. You are precious to us, and you shall be protected for the rest of your life. Yeah, this is all new to Ari, so she she's crying so much that even Izuku and and Ego would be impressed. So yeah. Long story short. Yeah, you can obviously say it was a good day. When Sardai learns that overall has been apprehended, he tells me you know what? Oh really? Really? How are you sure it's overall? Overall got a got captured. Yeah, right. They look like someone dare drive horse. That's right. It goes crazy. Wow, that's that's great. Why are you saying it like that? What do you mean? You sound like you know something, but you don't want to tell me. Okay, so you know who did it, don't you? No. Okay, you're a terrible liar. You definitely know. Shigaraki? What? Uh, it's about overall. What about him? I told you we'll deal with him when the time comes. He's arrested. What? Yeah, you got captured. Uh, by who? Hero and some work study students. Don't tell me. Yeah, one of them was Izuki Midoriya. Was there a blonde with him? Two, actually. What? Were was one of them? Yeah, one of them was Toga. <sighs> she must have heard about Big Sis. But who told her? Everyone instantly looking at twice. It's like, yeah, who told her? Seriously, who, who in the hell told our ex teammates such crucial information about our endeavors? We know it's you twice. <laughs> Of course it was him. What? No! Stop, shut up. Don't, don't snitch on me. Snitching on yourself. It's like, heck, of course I told her. See? Why? Because she, she cared about Big Sis too. <sighs> oh well, fine, whatever. Either way, it's irrelevant. At the moment, we just gotta get that child. Oh, yeah, they found the. The child is gone too. What? We just figured out that she was the one who made it possible for her to make quirk erasing butts. So are you saying the heroes have her now? Yes. <sighs> Do they at least know what their quirk is? Yes. 
Okay, what is it? Rewind. Excuse me? Oh yes, she can rewind organic matter. If anything, if she's strong enough, chances are she could bring back the dead. What? Oh yes, but that's after God knows how many years of training. What? Yeah. Wait, what about the medical properties of this quirk? If anything, she could hit, possibly heal any injury once she gained enough control over it. What? Oh, yeah. What? Yes. Oh. Oh, no. 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 Don't tell. No. If we live, they... Oh, this is all Yuriko's fault. I sh she should have never went to the heroes all because of love. Well, you told her to. I know. Oh, this hurts. The the getting opportunities have been should, should have been for us. Do you know how? Uh, as then. We cut back to Izuku, Eri, and the one known as Himiko, pretty much spending time like a family. Or Oraka did want to join them, as well as have Froppy chaperone. One thing is, it's Himiko's turn to have Izuku. <sighs> So, you're having a school festival coming up? Yeah. That's cool. It's cool, cool, cool. Anything else uh, you want to talk about? No, no, not really. Are you sure? Yeah. Huh, because I know you were very protective of this young one right here. Well, of course, who wouldn't? Yeah, and that bloodlust. I didn't know you had it in you. What? Bloodlust? No. That, that's, that's not me. I, 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 I can never be that angry at someone. Oh, <laughs> Do not be modest. I really liked it. Uh, then he looks down at Aaron. He's like, it was very scary. Uh, uh, <coughs> oh. Oh. Oh dear. I'm so sorry. Her pretty much being... You could say the cinnamon roll pretty much in training. When he starts talking about all the stuff that they they plan on having about the first wall, she gets excited. I think she still doesn't know how to smile. And when Rebellion shows up, no, yes, she does like him due to him being close by and came to her rescue the thing is uh, she's more bonded with Izuku and Himiko so it's not a terror not too bad a situation because it, pretty much every talking with everyone else she's scared Bakugo as well as Kirishima, well, Kirishima may do to his sharp pointy teeth and his excessive yelling. <sighs> but also Manetta. Considering he's being a pervert like you would expect him to be. Only thing is, he's like, well, yeah, as soon as you get away, you're going to be something. Damn, he's... Damn, that's just down bad.
Uh, either way, when it comes to all rock up, pretty much doting on every like a daughter, Yumiko and Froppy can't help but do the same thing, especially Froppy, considering she does have little siblings who she finds adorable. Harry is very hesitant to really get close, close to everyone else. Especially considering uh, when it comes to her people skills are not on point. Yugu is obviously being the big brother as dad figure for her. Himiko having no problem being mom. She sees everyone else's older brothers and sisters. Bongo being an asshole. <laughs> big brother. Trying to be a center of attention and some shit. Well, Izuku is kind of like the enforcer esque, trying to make it so, yeah, don't mess with my child. When Ego sees Eri, her heart just melts. Hearing about her backstory, she cries a literal river. To the point where they're Apartment actually starts to flood. Yuzuku, he's happy. So far, ain't nothing going wrong. Things are being PG. Night Eye survives. If anything, all is right with the world. Then he turns on the news and learns about the high end Nomu, in which, yeah. Endeavor, Endeavor and Hawks end up going head to head with this bastard. Luckily, it does go as well it can. Poor, poor Endeavor getting that cash, but also winning. Fist raise triumphantly. Izuku inspired. As well as Shoro, he's actually proud of his old man. Though, yes, he hates what Endeavor has done when it comes to their childhood as, as being a husband. Yeah. It shows that he's at least trying to be someone better. He does not try to be all my wannabe, like someone was. He's trying to be the number one hero they need. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He wants to be worthy of being called number one hero. He hates the way he got this position, but let's show him that he has earned it. Now, when it comes to Izuku and Toguya's actual relationship. Besides the fact that, yeah, Toga tries to get with Asui as well as Oraka, it's going very damn well, especially with Eri there to pretty much bring up the cuteness factor. Let's see how long the fun times will last, shall we?